Hey everybody, James Swank with Junk 180, 707-536-0740. Check us out online at junk180.com. Well, taking a little downtime this evening. It's a beautiful night. Weather is uh, perfect. It's been crazy hot and humid in Northern California the past uh, three, four days. Uh, in excess of 100 degrees every day. Uh, we knocked the shed down a couple days ago and it was uh, 104. And as soon as I took that roof off, it was, it was just it was brutal all day. Um, focusing on running my business. Apparently, uh, this is a Hugo, one of my German Shepherds, Hugo Stiglitz. My other German Shepherd is a uh, Bridget von Hammersmark. Uh, they're the two good Germans in the movie Inglorious Bastards. Uh, so, I'm in my backyard, got myself a stogie, got myself uh, one of my favorites, some Lagunitas, and, um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here by myself, my family is uh, camping right now. Um, so, where, where do you want to be in the next couple years? three years, five years, ten. Uh, for me, by year three of uh, business, um, I want to be at least a four truck operation and uh, I want to be off the truck 100% and focused on running the business. And something I haven't mentioned before, uh, I have a full-time job as well. A full-time job, uh, refinery operator. I uh, spent 10 years in construction. I've been a refinery operator for 12 after that. I am uh, still employed. I had a night shift last night. Uh, today's a day off. A uh, few and far between sometimes. Um, you know, last year I had over a thousand overtime hours alone. So another five and a half months of work in a 12 month period. All unplanned but all required. So, um, obviously, transition out of that and into this 100%. I put 100% into the company uh, to begin with. You know, I, I don't do this part time, I do it full time. My, uh, my job is a four on four off schedule, which allows me on my days off to be 100% into the company. And when I work my night shifts, half of those are night shifts. Uh, I work for the company during the day. Uh, sometimes after my day shifts, I'll, I'll have a, you know, one one or two jobs lined up that I'll go uh, pick up at. That, that becomes a challenge because I get off work after the dump's closed. So once the truck is full, uh, you're almost out of options. Uh, I have, on, on a couple of occasions, went and rented a, a U-Haul to uh, facilitate work, facilitate business after getting off work. Um, but that's uh, that's what I got to do to build what to, to, to build the company to the point where I can intelligently transition out of it. Uh, and I'll make very good money uh, at that uh, at that refinery. There's a lot of good money in the refinery. I would recommend that, uh, especially if you're a younger guy or, or gal, uh, to look into. Uh, to look into what it takes to get in there uh, because the money I made there is actually what allows me uh, to not struggle with the uh, the initial couple years of the business. So uh, right now basically my income from there takes care of my household bills. All the business income is reinvested. Um, so we're at a point now where I'm hiring employees. Uh, I got my first guy uh, signed his last document. He's officially on board today. Um, looking for a couple more guys to uh, train up. I got uh, two trucks and I want to get them both rolling. Uh, truck one has been a, a brutal, brutal experience for that truck. Uh, I've owned it for uh, over eight months and just yesterday, yeah, yesterday, Monday, the registration and title were, were complete. It's a long story, I won't get into it, uh, at least not too much in depth, 
Um, but uh, that thing has cost me uh, over $35,000 uh, in repair bills and the uh, registration has been hung up for a long time uh, due to uh, a document I needed from the CHP but uh, because it was broke down for three months couldn't get it inspected uh, then uh, COVID hit uh, so they were shut down for several months then uh, looting and riots were taking place so they had uh, their officers reallocated elsewhere um, but I finally got that done got that inspection complete and uh, registration is is done finally so I can finally take that truck on the road uh, $55,000 so far out of pocket and uh, it's, it's also financed so it's uh, a eight or nine hundred bucks a month on that truck uh, that I've been paying, uh, and it has earned zero so far. Very, very anxious to get that truck rolling. Um, but in any case, the uh, the uh, the the goal the the goal here is. To build a, a build a self-sustaining business to the point where you know I'm still going to be involved in uh, the business, but not necessarily a business that relies on me to operate day in and day out. Now, as a business owner, I still have to focus on big picture uh, sales, uh, things of that nature, but. You, for the most part, I won't be going out to uh, do pickups, which uh, so far has been only me. Uh, very rare occasions that you know, I, would, I would get uh, get somebody to help me out with something that requires two people, but that's few and far between. If uh, if you have show a little ingenuity and have the right tools, so. My ultimate goal is to increase my freedom. Like I said, uh, my occupation pays very well, but I'm essentially always on call. I have to work way too much, way too much overtime, 1,000 hours last year alone. I think I, think I already mentioned that. Um, and you know what? I, I got a family with two uh, young kids. Our son is three and a half. Our daughter is six months at this point. Um, and then, of course, uh, my wife. So I need I needed to find a way to get out of that occupation, offset that income, hopefully increase income, uh, and uh, get more freedom uh, to be a better husband and be a better father. Uh, that's the ultimate goal. That's uh, that's what drives me. Um, creating the ideal scenario for our kids. Uh, apologize for the wind chimes. Um, I'll just uh, I'll just tell you what uh, what I did, kind of the history so far. Uh, we're at a turning point right now where the Junk 180 is hiring employees. Um, I'm tell you a quick synopsis of how we got to this point. Um, so last year in 2019, this is something I've, I've been thinking about for several years, but I really dove into it, uh, uh, did a lot of research, watched videos, uh, figured out how to market, uh, to, had to teach myself how to use various programs uh, for marketing, bookkeeping, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but uh, last year in 2019, I laid all the foundation for the business and uh, started actually working the business in 2020. So Super Bowl Sunday was actually the first paying job Junk 180 took on. Now, like I said, our daughter was six months old for the first couple of months of, uh, uh, since she has joined us, <coughs> excuse me, I wanted to focus primarily on family. So I only did word of mouth work, uh, really just uh, just enough work to turn a little bit of, of, of a profit, but really just to cover costs. Um, after a couple months, I started ramping the business up, started some advertising, uh, a lot of that word of mouth work that I was doing, started becoming a repeat business, um, 
referrals from those individuals to the point now where we are getting commercial contracts. Uh, we have several uh, frequent repeat customers um, that use us several times a month. Um, so being that I have I have a good paying job that uh, allows me to pay the household bills, I don't have to take any money out of the business. It's all reinvested. So the profits that I'm making are going into hiring crews at this point. Um, now, next, likely next year, uh, the company will probably be in a, a position where I can start drawing what I need just to cover household costs, that, and that's all I'm going to take, and continue reinvesting everything else. So it's a, an aggressive growth uh, plan is what I'm uh, what I'm using. Um, so I want to keep as much money in the business as possible. Reinvest, reinvest, reinvest. Trucks, people, more advertising, uh, facility. Uh, eventually, po uh, well, not possibly. Eventually, expand into neighboring uh, territories. So the, the, this is what I have to do to facilitate my, my end goal, you know, my, my destination that I have in my mind, what I want out of life and uh, what I want to contribute to my family. Uh, this is what I have to do. So I work full time right now and then I work full time on the business. I don't do this part time. I do it 100%. Uh, all the time. Now, there, obviously, I can't do both at the same exact time, but when I work night shifts, I work the business during the day. When I work day shifts, I work the business at night. And on my days off, it's four on four off schedule. So, 50% of the time, I can be business 100% of the day. Um, but uh, now that I'm hiring employees, once I get these guys uh, trained up enough to operate the truck on their own, then there will be no downtime, none. It'll be busy all the time. They'll work the business on the trucks uh, while I have to go to work. And when I'm off, that'll be their days off and uh, I'll work the business, uh, I'll, I'll work the trucks. Um, in the next uh, four to six months, that should change. There should be enough business to where I will have a uh, multiple uh, I'll have enough employees to the point where I don't have to alternate onto the truck. I'll work the second truck until that is self-sustaining. Uh, then I'll buy truck three, hire another crew, truck four, hire another crew, et cetera, et cetera. Everything gets reinvested. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, you know, it, it snowballs. The the harder you can hit it, the faster you can grow. The larger the income you can achieve in a shorter period of time so long as you're willing to sacrifice a little bit up front and uh, put off that put off the, the payoff the longer you can wait to receive that payoff the greater it's going to be uh, so for me in two years I should have four trucks and a uh, supervisor in place to the point where I, which gives me the freedom to do, you know, what, whatever I need to do, family. You know, my family right now is camping without me because I had to work a night shift last night at my regular job. Uh, there ain't going to be much more of that. Uh, it's... It's exactly the reason why I'm looking to transition out of there and uh, I, I found an avenue to do that by uh, starting a successful joke removal company. <clears throat> you know, my, my son, who's three and a half, I've been looking forward to him being old enough to uh, start to uh, teach me how to fish, for example. It's, it's something that uh, I really thought like a father and son I could bond over right I've really been looking forward to that uh, well he's three and a half now and he's you know 
he's getting it right he's he's grows by leaps and bounds every day uh they're camping at the at a lake and uh somebody else put a fishing pole in his hand um which uh i'm i'm, I'm proud that he is uh you know growing um the, despite me not being able to be there but i really wanted that to be dad so i i missed that and i and i hate that i missed it and that's why that's my motivation to have a successful company that's why i will never stop never quit uh, if the wife says hey let's go camping it's like okay boom we're gone and uh i know the, that the, the business will still be running and i know the income will still be coming in so that's the that's the freedom that i'm, I'm looking to get um, So he, you know, every, everybody's going to have a different motivator. Uh, to me, it's family, um, family and freedom. You have to be able to set goals to be able to achieve your goals. Uh, so how do you how do you get there? Now, I was able to start off uh, pretty well funded. Um, I. Uh, pulled in a nutshell I pulled money out of my 401k and I started a business and uh, I was able to do that you know, a lot of people would say oh that's crazy you never touch 401k that's that's crazy but the that they it's kind of a narrow viewpoint because it's an investment any investment uh, should be sold if you can take that uh, take that cash and make a better investment with it Right. So even though I was good, uh, I contribute 18, 20 percent, something like that, into my 401k and uh, it does very well. The estimated uh, payout by the time I reached retirement age was only four thousand dollars in change, a little over four thousand dollars a month. And uh, I realized that shit, I could take that money right now and I can use it to make at least four thousand dollars a month today so why wouldn't i do that it's it's uh, a lot of people want that big gold nugget where uh really most people's uh, goal should be that 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 cash flow your monthly cash flow if i can have four thousand four thousand dollars a month now as opposed to waiting 15 or 20 years i, I might as well have that four thousand dollars a month for the next 20 years and then to continue to have it after you know, I've reached retirement age. Um, so that's how I started. I took uh, about half of my 401k out and uh, funded the uh, funded the startup of the company. Bought one truck, got outright cash, uh, financed another one. Uh, so you know, big down payment, and uh, then that one ended up needing extensive repairs, thirty-five thousand dollars worth of repairs as soon as I took delivery, uh, pretty much. Um, but I was able to pay it, no, no, no problem, because I started out funded. Now, a lot of people aren't going to be in that situation. You're going to have to start a little, a little cheaper. You know, uh, uh, use the three-quarter ton or one ton maybe, and uh, and a trailer. You know, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, you start with uh, what you can start with, and you reinvest into your business and uh, grow it and grow it and grow it. Uh, but you need that final goal in mind. What what are you building towards? And uh, you need to build your company in a way that uh, facilitates that road that's going to get you to your destination. Um, so really, that that's gonna, probably going to be it for this video. I just uh, wanted to... Uh, you know, since right now Jump 180 is at uh, the the cusp of the next uh, next phase of building, uh, now that we're bringing on employees, and um, you know I'm very excited about that. The uh, and the other thing too is you know I'm just trying to keep it real too. I, I hadn't mentioned before that uh, I also have a full time job. Uh, it's uh, it's it's not a secret at work that uh, I own this business. Or 
you know, HR department uh, knows full well. Uh, you know, uh, supervision and management that, that everybody knows. Uh, you know, some of the uh, some of the guys out there have actually used our services. Um, so I, uh, you know, I, I just uh, hope that somebody finds a little bit of a motivation, I guess, uh, or s- some sort of a value in what I'm saying. You know, and just to realize that you are, if you've been watching the videos or later on uh, you fall back and you know you find the channel and uh, you start watching the videos that you are watching a concept grow into a successful company and uh, you know as time goes on that that uh, you know the, the more the more I learn the more I can share and uh, hopefully the more value that uh, you may find in you know what I have to say or you know what I show you uh, you, you can you can use it to your advantage now over time I'll probably go into more details about some of these points I've touched on uh, you know how I funded the business uh, the um, steps I had to take to you know go through a DOT uh, and uh, you know LLC formation uh, getting a junk 180 trademarked uh, you know, there, there's a lot of uh, there's there's a ton of little steps business license uh, places to store your trucks um, basic bookkeeping uh, marketing strategies there's just a whole bunch of stuff that can't possibly just fit into one video uh, that's it uh, welcome uh, questions comments just right down there all right everybody james swank jump 180 707-536-0740 check us out online at junk180.com till next time we'll see you have a good night